Welcome back to the Goo! You're not opening with this. We are not <laughs> opening with that. That is not that the is opening. Not the opener. Start of That's the opener. Podcast. We're not doing We're that. We're adding Redo. 50 O's before the N hits at the end. Please That's the new name do of the that podcast. for the love of God. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the number one podcast in the special need class. <laughs> hey. hey. We win. We're the winners. Oh, this is not getting ads. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going to anyway. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, the number two podcast in the entire continent of Antarctica. Monkey? Monkey? No, no monkeys there. The first no. podcast in Antarctica, just throwing that out there, is Penguin Pete and his pals. The only podcast with a 200% refresh rate. <laughs> yeah. We're going to find that hertz. anywhere else. 144 hertz 4K. Audio. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you hear us? We sound so crisp. Just, Our audio yeah. is stretched resolution. Can you hear us? We say, sound? welcome back to the Goons Podcast, but never back welcome Goon Cast. Not yeah. how are the Goons Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing well. All of us. We... I yeah, <laughs> we all hate we each other. We've leave. been having wars. We want to leave the off house screen. every day. They threaten me to stay here. Yeah, we I haven't even in the same house right now. <laughs> Not even in the same country. They always say, <clears throat> "I hide under dude's bed at night." That wouldn't be possible. I, I slap him with a walking stick in the middle of the night. I feel like dude's mattress is just on the floor. <laughs> Why do you think that? You can well, you see it in watch- his videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fake Literally fan. Half of his videos fake entire friend. All right, bed. fine. It's it's sitting on milk cartons. No. S- no. Clearly a I bed frame. You. I don't yeah. believe you. Have clearly a frame. stable, normal bed, Blarg. Yeah. It's clearly nope. there. Clearly an clearly. IKEA He's bed. He's probably the only man in Missouri with a bed frame. <laughs> what? What do you think we do in Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like what? What? I don't know. I know you guys do meth. Exactly. Oh, that's very yeah, true. I feel like every, every, I feel like at least three out of five houses there are just. My grandma used to live next to a meth house. <laughs> you were gonna say my grandma used to do meth. <laughs> uh, hey, well, she might have. I don't know. She might have gone next door and done some meth. God, your grandma's sick. Yeah, Where's the house you? next door had a bunch of like trash bags on the windows and stuff, and people would come and go every like 15, 20 minutes. So they were doing some meth. <laughs> Maybe they just had a really cool PlayStation controller. Yeah, and maybe they wanted to try it. met up there to color stuff. Yeah, together. they had a they had a scuff controller. Just maybe it was a Bible project. study. Maybe they had glow in the dark mini golf down in the basement. <laughs> maybe they had that. <laughs> With enough meth, anything is glow in the dark. They just have golf. an underground Disney World you never knew about. <laughs> maybe they were just trying to do ollies flags. on skateboards without wheels. That's snowboarding. <laughs> You're not wrong. Right. Glad we got Different to the kind of snow. Of <laughs> All right, can we, okay. can, we, can, we, can we should talk about Can we get trucks? on with a topic, please, for the love of God? Yeah. All right. Talk about topic, topic for too long. You don't want to talk no. about my meth to help grandma? No. What's wrong with you guys? Nasty, no. give us a topic. Uh, I'm going to go with what Soup asked. Uh, he said, uh, All right. Most daredevil thing you've ever done. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I, if I've ever done a daredevil I thing. I went into a dog raw. <laughs> I think that's a felony. Yeah, I mean that's. You just admit to a crime. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the dog biscuit. You know what I'm saying? No, no, All I've right. never, I've never went into a dog raw. Have you ever <laughs> eaten a dog biscuit? To each his own. I've never eaten a dog biscuit. Have you eaten a dog biscuit, do? <laughs> that was a very unconvincing no. <laughs> what it tastes like? Uh, well, uh it's, 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 it's Korean cheese. Korean cheese. Korean cheese. <laughs> God, this is scoffed. <laughs> I ate a piece of a, uh, I ate a piece of a bag and strip one time. Is that, that is... the most daredevil thing you've ever done? I get what. Yeah, why is all of our daredevil stuff related to dogs? <laughs> <laughs> One of us just fucked the dogs, and two of us just ate dog food. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, uh, no, uh, actually, I, actually, most no, I used thing. to, uh, I used to BMX a lot, and like, I'd hit some jumps that, like, I look at now, and I'm like, I would never fucking do that in my life. But like, when you're like 16, you're made of like 
jelly and magic so like mm-hmm. even if you break your arm it doesn't matter it's like healed the next day so i was just like yeah i don't care if i eat shit from 30 feet in the air i'll do it was yeah, it like street bmx just a jar of smuckers was it like street it, bmx or dirt bmx it was like both like we we i'd have i had two bmx's and one had uh street tires and one was like uh, kind of street slash dirt tires and uh like where i live at the time they were building up a bunch of houses so like they would like cut down a forest and just leave like wood and a ton of dirt so we would just like make jumps out of all that shit mm. and like they were like pretty fucking tall and looking back now i'm like i don't know how i'm not like you know rolling around in a wheelchair Beat the, fuck up, the yeah. worst yeah the worst i've ever got was like i shattered my hand Ouch. um i just fell wrong and the handlebars crushed my hand under my or sorry my hand got crushed under my handlebars Damn. And it was like completely shattered and I didn't know. Um, so I played hockey that same day and I was wondering why it hurt (laughs) so bad. Well, because I was like, I can still kind of move it, but Uh like it looked like it looked all jacked up. But, uh, yeah, I went to the doctors like a week later and they took an x-ray and they're like, yeah, you're an idiot. (laughs) Was it your jerk off hand? Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Actually, yeah, but, 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 <laughs> why'd you have to think of, are you like switch or something like, no, I, just, I just had i had to grab my dick forgot which are hand you I amber dexterous <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my, my pinky still sits in the air like you know like fancy people when they drink and they're like pinkies up mm-hmm. like yeah. my, mine does that but like just because my hand's fucking retarded and not because i'm fancy in my butt uh, okay that's interesting but yeah that's uh, that's definitely the most daredevil shit i used to do i used to um you know what's funny about that i i used to quote unquote BMX in high school. But did you buy a BMX bike and sit on it? I did. Yeah. <laughs> <It was, laughs> that was ninety percent of BMXing. Well I, I I tried to convince all my friends that I was like because I started hanging around with this group that was like they all did like BMX. And I tried like I just wanted to fit in so I lied and tried to act like I could do BMX and I never wanted to like learn it. So I just like I bought like a five hundred dollar a- bike. That's such a bad thing to like fake because they'd be like, "Yeah, dude, just do something basic, like do a 180 on flat ground," and you would just like <laughs> not do it. Why would you? Yeah. Why would you fake that? That's like, yeah, that's yeah. That's just the worst high thing to you fake. You just want to like fit in, and you just I don't know. Why not find people that are interested in common things to you, not like <laughs> lie? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, a, plain you know, and, I'm basically yeah, Tony Hawk. Yeah, I'm it's, Matt Hawk. It's hard to tell a anything. high school kid that. Cause you just want to like fit in with people. And even though it's like not who you are, you still like, like that's just a common thing for people in high school. Do they lie? I don't think I, I don't, I I didn't really lie. I would just more so like actually pick up a hobby. I didn't really care about just because I knew that everyone else liked to do it. So I'd want to be able to at least, you know, keep up to them. Yeah. I don't actually like guitar. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) I just wanted (laughs) Eric and Dallas to like me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well that they didn't don't. help I just wanted to impress <laughs> Grizzy <laughs> yeah, we wanted to impress Grizzy before he even knew well, of course he doesn't give a shit about guitar <laughs> <laughs> nah but uh when it comes to like the daredevil thing I don't honestly, I don't really know I know I I'm, haven't like, done anything I'm, like, really jumped into bushes and stuff just trying to be like <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you so brain dead? Like when I was I like, jumped when you're like hanging bush. out with people, you're like, hey, check this out, jump in a bush, and then, oh my god, he jumped in a bush, he's crazy. And it's just yeah, like, what is wrong with your friends? <laughs> Did uh, they all have brain damage? I don't know. We were just like stoners and just idiots. Yeah, about I was friends like, with stoner idiots, and they'd be like, hey, bro, you want to throw like a rock at a window? Not like, <laughs> let's jump, jump in a, in a bush. bush yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, let's jump in a plant <laughs> like what the fuck is that yeah i've never God, done anything it's... like life-threatening though as far as like Dilder- daredevil stuff goes the reason i asked okay. that question is because whenever i was at the beach a few days ago i went parasailing and i was kind of oh that's about fucking that. scary yeah I was, dude i was 500 feet in the air and what? nothing <laughs> yeah 500 500 500 oh no <laughs> Yeah, dude, dude, that is so high. Five hundred feet in the air, and the only thing below is just like water. Water. Yep. The oh ocean. my god. Yeah, dude. It, I, it I, was... I thought like I thought they went like two hundred. No, this one was way up there, buddy. Way the god. fuck up there. What are you? And even the scariest part. Cord long enough. Dude, the scariest part was like the guy controlling it. 
he he like before he brought you into the boat, like as he was lowering you back in, he would drop like the the line or something, and you would go like dipping into the water. So you would like basically get, like submerge and then like brought back up. <laughs> this is terrifying. It was awesome, <laughs> yeah. dude. It was awesome. You know, like, uh, blessed by a freaking <laughs> by a jump. Yeah, you, you're just role playing as like a chicken wing into ranch, like. <laughs> yeah, basically, I felt like a chicken nugget getting dipped into the ocean. What was really scary though was having to land back on the boat because you had to land like on your feet. You're like basically parachuting onto this boat. I mean, you're being guided by a rope, but yeah, it was pretty. That's so fucking horrifying. Yeah, it was pretty honest. scary, but it was fun. I'd, I'd, I'd do it again. I'd, I don't think I'd do that. I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I don't hate heights, but like, I'm not a huge fan oh, of them. Like, we do. used to. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid we I used do. to climb this. Uh, we used to climb this building. Um, it was a school somewhat near where I live, and like the roof is probably like sixty feet. Um, and we used to like climb up this little sewage drain that went all the way down. We used to just like put our legs on the wall and pull on the drain and like just use that to climb all the way up, and like. I don't know. That that could have easily been deadly if that sewage pipe broke or if I fell or anything. But uh, I don't know. I I didn't get too freaked out by the heights. But like 500 feet just with a parachute thing, I don't mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think I'd vibe with that. Dude, it was fun. I'm telling you. <laughs> would you guys ever go? Uh, would you guys ever go uh, parachuting? No. Like, like uh, skydiving? skydiving? No. Uh, or skydiving? Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I probably would. To be honest, like, it's not something I, I'd seek out. But if I was with like five friends and they were all like, "Yeah, we want to do it," I'd yeah. probably just say, "Fuck it." But it's yeah. never something I'd be like, "Hey, boys, let's go skydiving." I mean, let's I just don't. An ca- airplane. I just don't care if I live or die. So I may as well have fun. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might not even bring a parachute. Such a quarantine to see how mood. It goes. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, the good thing is if do went skydiving, he wouldn't even take a parachute. He'd just float down like a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> like a feather. It'd be like a leaf landing on yeah. a pond. <laughs> Take like an hour and a half to get to the ground because air resistance. <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever rode jet skis like in the ocean? I've yeah. been on a jet ski, but I never like driven. Dude, one. you guys need to get out more. You need well, to sorry, go to the I south more. In, <laughs> yeah, I don't live in fucking Carolina. I can't just go out to the ocean. I'm like, <laughs> I have lakes, and I've ridden. You know, you've never there. been like sledding or skiing. Yeah, I've been sledding, but like, That's pretty not, daredevilish. I mean, there's, I guess, there's nowhere to. Yeah, actually, oh, I don't know. There's this big hill. Okay, where I live is kind of AIDS. Our biggest hill is 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 a fucking <laughs> your entire country, or just like your area. Just my the whole country. Uh, <laughs> up top. Up America. Top. The America. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. USA. Anyway. Go ahead. The highest Canadian. hill slash mountain thing we have. It's not even close to a fucking mountain. It's just a big hill. It's actually just a garbage patch that they put grass over. Um, gross. And <laughs> so a landfill? And you call the yeah. south gross? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> sliding over shit. <laughs> People throw away. Literally, but like it's it's decently high up and like in the fucking winter like everybody goes there and sleds down it and sometimes there's these, these dudes that show up and they literally just put a garbage bag over themselves and go down <laughs> and they just like <laughs> smashing off the ground like it's so fucked Sounds up epic. it was like yeah some kid that's in my city made a youtube video of them like making a giant slip and slide down it I'm just going like fucking 60 miles an hour down a hill oh with nothing. God. It's so fucked. Have yeah. you guys ever been whitewater rafting? No. Uh, I have. That's fun. I like that. It's scary. I obviously was just kind of sitting there while somebody who knew what they were doing did all the work. <laughs> but fuck that. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not super into like daredevil outside shit. I like hiking and stuff, but I don't feel like I need to go cliff diving at any point in my life. Why? You know? I, I don't know. I'm a pussy. I'm not, I'm not I'm reckless. Not <laughs> hey, yeah, same. I like living. Yeah. <laughs> You're a coward. <laughs> Wait, would y'all ever do that thing where you get like a squirrel flying suit you, and you jump off Fuck a cliff? No, dude. Uh, I don't no. know about that. Like no. free diving like, or no? What, yeah, what is that called? Like, I free falling or like? Uh, no. <laughs> I think that's a song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called something. It's, it's like platforming. I don't. I forget what it's called. I don't know. I, yeah, no. We're yeah, just a squirrel suit. Yeah, or people like, that'll take a parachute like to the top of a cliff and just like flip yeah. off. Oh, base jumping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, base yeah. jumping. Yeah. No, I do not is, trust is, two little flaps under my armpits to keep me afloat. Oh in the no! Air, bro. It's not that. It's more so of like if you panic when you're doing the little squirrel suit thing, 
and you just smash into a tree at like 200 fucking yeah, kilometers yeah. an hour. Oh, I mean, you're dead. You're, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. red mist. <laughs> like, you're not even a person <laughs> anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine well, how clean from that parasail 500 feet, like with a life jacket on into oh, yeah, the ocean? Because, I mean, yeah, like, the no, life jacket like, is helping you keep afloat. So it would be like yeah, resisting against the water. Afloat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even hitting hitting water, I think it's about, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 60 feet. Hitting water over 60 feet is like hitting concrete anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, no I mean, if you jump out of a, if you jump out of a boat going like 80 or something, it's going to hurt like a bitch. Oh yeah. I don't know if you die <laughs> from that, but yeah, that would be big ouch. Dude, tubing is so much fun. Have you guys ever done that? Like, I have. Hook up or, a tube like, I've done boat. water skiing too. Water skiing is fun, but I did the splits, and it wasn't the splits that hurt, but it was the pile of water smashing into my balls <laughs> was <laughs> the worst fucking yeah. pain. It hurt so bad. I want to get certified like, nah. to scuba dive. I think that'd be cool. Ooh, now that I'd fuck. You should get certified. Yeah, that'd for that? be a, yeah. Yeah, you can't just go diving sixty feet. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. I was could, actually, but... I was gonna do that uh, like a year ago. My friend like backed out, but I wanted to I do that. There's like a lot I that goes into that too. Yeah, no, you have to do a lot of shit because you can Ugh. die if you come up too fast. You can like get some or kind if you of go sickness. On a plane. Really? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah, you get the yeah. If you or if you like, if you've been diving and you go on an airplane that same day, you'll just like die. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like there's something a chance with uh, to die. the the like pressure. Yeah, like water pressure your fucks with you. Blood. That's yep. wild. I did not know that. Maybe it just like yeah, you know, so fucks with your blood you pressure we're, a bunch. We're, we're teaching. We're teaching on this podcast, the number <laughs> yeah, one well, educational podcast. <laughs> well, when you yeah, go under all that water, again. when you go underwater, all that weight is getting put. Yeah, that you. pressure. Right. True. True. Yeah. Yeah, because that's like a lot of fucking water just like yeah. sitting on you. Would you ever have sex all with right. a dolphin? In its blowhole. Anywhere, what a anyhow. weird! I was gonna segue. <laughs> I've seen a dolphin, dude. Those things are awesome, dude. Dolphins are amazing, fucking creatures. You know how smart dolphins are? They are pretty. Smart. Yeah, they're, they're like they're, they're, they're double equally the as horny as nasty. humans, though. True. I think dolphins. Are you are trying the... to justify fucking one right now? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Why is it illegal? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, but do it. Do it count if I lose my virginity the question, to a dolphin? Is it illegal? What if a dolphin fucks you? And you well, just I mean, what, are they, what are they going to do? Like, put the dolphin down? <laughs> put it in jail? Put it down on a wife down? Not a chance, bro. Put it in a cage underwater dolphin jail? <laughs> <laughs> that is just so You have to do, like, community <laughs> service and, like, clean <laughs> up the... <laughs> clean up pollution in the ocean. <laughs> has to clean up had. coral reefs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst one we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> this conversation <laughs> is fucking peak dog shit. a sex offender. <laughs> Okay. He's going to knock on your neighbor's yeah. door. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed in the Krusty Krab anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. No more. Actually, now that I think about there, I don't think there was any dolphins in SpongeBob, was there? Not allowed near schools of fish. I don't know. I don't want to no. think about it. It's just a whale. <laughs> it's the closest thing. I'm going to fuck Pearl. Pearl. Yeah, I'd fuck Pearl. Oh, yeah. Pearl. All right, hold on, hold on. Here's a, here's a, here's a spicy topic, oh, boys. Oh, Pearl. If you could fuck one animated character, who would it be? Pearl. Boots. Oh. Boots? Uh, what? I'm surprised you didn't say uh, a minion, mm. dog. <laughs> I've already done it. Oh. Probably Groot. <laughs> Why Groot? He's such a tree. Because he can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Shrek or Mike Wazowski because they're green. <laughs> I gotta do that one again. I just want to see what a green butthole looks like. <laughs> I would imagine just like a regular butthole, but Probably like a green tint. Uh, <laughs> so fuck the group comment. You're so fucked, McNasty. <laughs> just, just screaming, I'm Groot. Just Groot, I'm Groot. He's like, yeah, oh scream crying. <laughs> just syrup dripping out of his eyes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! God, that was that was not. I, that did not go anywhere. Okay, good. let's please move I've, on to another topic. <laughs> topic. I don't even want to answer this one myself. That's good enough. <laughs> McCasty, can you, can we, can we talk about your fucking brain dead elephant question? Oh yeah, go ahead and ask. <laughs> All right, McNasty asked us earlier. <clears throat> All right, so he you've been given an elephant. You can't. So get we should say way. this. This is a hypothetical. Like this is. <laughs> this like, is. Yeah. This is. This is a hypothetical situation you've well, been put obviously. in. Obviously. 
Oh, no. Well, yeah, nobody's giving away fucking elephants. All right. You've been given an elephant. You can't give it away or sell it. What would you do with the elephant? <laughs> Ooh, what you doing with soup, that trunk? Soup, soup answered this earlier. <laughs> what you going to do with the trunk? I've, I'll let I've you go changed. off about it. I've changed, changed my You changed your mind? Well, because yeah. earlier you said you would put a gun to its head. Yeah, but that probably <laughs> wouldn't kill it. So then I'd have a bigger problem on my hands. <laughs> of an angry elephant who's breeding an elephant. I think I would just <laughs> use it. I would use it for content and just like do vlogs with the elephant and like daily Dude, updates of how. I would probably make it my new daily driver. I, I parking I, anywhere. Right. I was gonna say I would take it through the McDonald's drive-through, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would do videos with it and like like train it or something. I don't know. I feel like it would not be easy to train an elephant. Like it's not a dog. I mean, like you don't you, just dude, tell it to sit. If people in India can ride them and train them, I mean, let, let's be honest. What? It can't be. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Where are you going with that? I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, that know. did not sound like a joke. <laughs> that sounded. That it sounded can't like be it that hard to train like. a damn elephant, bro. Right, because if an Indian could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Go let's on. be honest. What do they do? They. Make telemarketer oh, phone calls and they train oh elephants. Like, I mean, God. it's like they're two big skills over there, dude. Okay. Uh, we love you, Indian <laughs> fans. Oh, man. I'm that, joking! Also, also the, like, the highest percentage of doctors in the world are from there. But yeah, no, carry on. Yeah, because uh, what do you have to do to get qualified? Of shut I'm up! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm done. I'm done. You fucking AIDS. The statements made by Sniping Soup do not necessarily do not, represent yeah. the views of this oh, podcast. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> all right, McDyess, do you want to answer your own fucking hypothetical uh, situation here? I'd probably fuck it. Okay. <laughs> all right, next topic. <laughs> yeah, I really wish we didn't put the spotlight on you. Uh, uh, Christ. <laughs> all right, well, that was a great topic. Good job, guys. I'm glad you all. Thank you. Glad we. Yeah, I'm good, curtsying good, good, right good now, my chair. Hey, curtsy. You're what? I'm curtsying. <laughs> curtsy. Means he's wearing a skirt. Yeah, I am. He's wearing a dress. Yeah, and I'm curtsying with my dress in my chair. That's bean. That's kind of gay. <laughs> all right. Um, um, all right. I had a question I was going to ask you guys. Where to go? Oh, yeah. Um, what's your favorite, like, childhood game? So or, like, the most excited you've been for a game? <laughs> Super Mario really? 64 for the only Dallas. All right, cool. I can sit this one out. <laughs> for the <laughs> only <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for specifying. I thought I thought the other Dallas was Man gonna ask me. <laughs> <laughs> what specifically <Hubert>. about O <laughs> five? <laughs> uh, I mean, mine was Mario Kart. To be honest, Mario Kart was Double it? Dash was like the first game I played that wasn't on like a handheld console, like a N Nintendo. I mean, Pac Man games. Reloaded. Gay Dick. Okay, sorry. Okay, are you just naming games now? Nope. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> One game that I have a lot of nostalgia for. Uh, I used to have a super. You remember the Super Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah. You put the cartridges in from the top. Yeah. I used to play. Uh, yes. Kirby, like the the original Kirby. And that shit used to be. Oh, I, played I, used to I played that fuck game. Out of that. I, I had, really play. I think I only played through half of it. I used to play Kurt. Well, I used to have. So I had that Super Nintendo, but I would go to. Um, it was either Blockbuster. I think it was Blockbuster, and I would go there and rent the game like every other week. And then eventually, after enough time, I rented it. They just gave it to me. They just let me have it because I spent so much money on renting it. <laughs> so I just had Kirby. It was probably worth like $9. Yeah. Like they probably were just like, what the fuck are you doing, kid? Yeah. Just buy it, you idiot. Well, the thing is, the thing that sucked about the Super and like the older Nintendo games, you couldn't save. So if you like took it out and put it back in, you would just have to completely restart again. So I would have what? to like take it back. That is not true. No, that's not true at all. That's no, not true. That's probably no, because you, you took it back and somebody else rented it and then like wiped, wiped the, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, I, I, yeah, because it would just save. It did. I didn't yeah. think the Super Nintendo's had like a no, like it, a it memory saved, card. Because Super anything. Mario World was on there and you could that game was massive and you could save. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, I remember that specifically. Maybe I'm thinking of the original Nintendo. I think you're just brain dead, to be honest. You're probably, yeah, you're probably thinking of the like the NES. I don't yeah, think you could save yeah. on those. <clears throat> I didn't play one of those. I mostly played 64. Like N64 was like. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an yeah. N64. My cousin did, but, but I didn't have one. What's weird though is I didn't play an N64 a lot until like after GameCube was already out. 
Hmm. Like I downgraded and liked it better. I used to fucking um, hate the GameCube controllers. They were so like, yeah. weird. Oh yeah, the GameCube controller is very weird. Well, the Nintendo sixty four controller is it's like worse. Oh, it's, it's like it's, what? What is that? Oh, yeah. I know, right? Like, the, the middle knob that. But like, it works you, though. Like I it, guess it's it just, works, but it's so odd that they made yeah, it that way. I, I I don't know. It just looks like a regular controller with like a fat dick in the middle. Regular yeah. middle part, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I didn't like those controllers at all. Plus, this joysticks fucking broke on them every two minutes. Oh, I know. I think I joysticks like were terrible. Yep. And you had to, like, I mean, reach super far with Nintendo your thumb products. to use it. Yeah, I mean, even the AIDS. current Switch, the joysticks are fucking AIDS. They drift after, like, a oh, month yeah. of music. Oh, yeah. I've had to buy new remotes a couple times. Yeah. Just from playing Smash. Yep. Quality product. Good old Switch. Uh, Thanks a lot, Nintendo. Uh, Thank you, five year olds. I love Nintendo. Choice. I will continue to buy Nintendo stuff. Yeah, no, you're a little five Nintendo bitch for some reason. A year. Uh, dude, I fucking love Mario games to the best. It's so weird because, like, it, it, I, I didn't know that about you for like a year and a half. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, I just realized, like, this dude's fucking obsessed with Mario. Dude, that, that is like what I did as a kid because there's like nothing to do in the South. So I was like, yeah, I, I either, either played. <laughs> I either played sports or, or like I was like, a riding clan. a four wheeler. <laughs> you could it, it was like join join a clan or fucking play Mario. And I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna sit at home and play Mario. So <laughs> that's so, that's good. Like, I'm I'm glad you chose that path. <laughs> yeah, it could have been a whole different story. <laughs> you should have joined a Mario clan. Oh, that would have been nice. Like middle ground. I don't know if Mario. I don't know if clans like in video games were a thing back then. Just like clans where you meet at a town hall and talk about how you hate other kinds of people. <laughs> you know, hate people who don't play Mario. You're like anti-Sega uh, Genesis. <laughs> Anti-Sonic. <Yeah. laughs> Fuck that little fucking hedgehog um, pussy bitch. But, but Eric's, you guys both uh, would say Ocarina of Time's your f- favorite? Yeah. Probably, On, yeah. Like, have you played all the other ones, or is that just like the only Zelda game you really fucked with? I played. Oh no, I've played them all. I played another one, but I can't remember which. I played the original. I never beat it, was but it I remember Majora's playing the original. Mask. Okay, the, the original one. I was think it might have been. Yeah, Majora's Mask is really fun. Um, I like Ocarina of Time better than Majora's Mask, so as well. Yeah, I, uh, I got Ocarina of Time on the GameCube. Like mm-hmm. they, there was this disc that had like three Zelda games on it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And that's where I played it. And I don't know. I, I really <laughs> liked Ocarina of Time, but I don't know if it's like my favorite. I haven't played the new one, though. Breath of the Wild. The new one's really wild. good, man. Oh, it's, it's amazing, bro. Probably number two right, right after Ocarina of Time. Yeah. <sighs> I might have to stream that, maybe. I uh, Yeah, I played it when my office flooded. And, like, I just kind of downloaded it because I was like, whatever, it'll give me something to do for a couple days till my office is dry and I can go back in there. But, like, even after my PC was set up again, I still played through it because i was like this is actually like a genuinely fun game mm-hmm. uh, um, definitely uh, definitely worth playing if you haven't yet did you guys ever play jack and daxter on the ps2 no, no. i've heard no. i've heard of it but i haven't played yeah it. a lot of my friends did back then i think it was fucking so fun to play i used to love playing that game what do you what do you even do it's just like uh did you ever play ratchet and clank like those kind of games yeah it was kind of yeah. like that but different were you just like you and you had like a <laughs> Okay, but that's kind of a broad thing. It's it's like Forza but different. <laughs> like <laughs> it's not a Ratchet and Clank isn't a fucking racing game. <laughs> I know, but just saying it's different can mean anything. Right. Well, I just mean like it's the same kind of game where it's like you and you have like a like a little, little sidekick buddy. dude that little like homie. does shit. Yeah. And you just like there's like so like from, a banjo. Kinda like that, yeah. You go from like They're area different. to area and like yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Mm. Pretty old. Uh, yeah, did you guys ever play it. like? Um, did you guys ever play any like the Tony Hawk like skate games? Yes, oh sir. my god! Dude, I played oh, yeah. so Whoa, much. Tony uh, I Tony Hank was all the, the time. <laughs> <laughs> I Tom Hanks on a skateboard all the time. <laughs> there was one. Oh, I forget which one it was. It was like. Uh, hold on. it was out on the fucking. I played it on the GameCube again. Oh my god! Uh, probably probably pro skater three or two. No, it was like one of the off-brand stupid ones. Hold on. <laughs> Do you ever remember like playing these old games and at the time you thought they looked so good oh, and then, like yeah. now you go back and look yeah. at the graphics <laughs> and you're know, yes. like, oh, it looks like RuneScape. Oh, it was American hey, Wasteland hey, that hey, I played. Hey, 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 you're off the podcast, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me when you get 99 fletching in two days, pussy. 
It's not hard. Yeah, to it was Shut American up. Wasteland <laughs> that I played a fuck ton of. Even though that one oh, is like considered yeah, pretty American dog shit. You could BMX in that one. That one was cool. Yeah, you could, yeah, just fucking <clears throat> Matt Hoffman had an appearance in it. Yeah. God, looking at the trailer. Yeah, I remember you like started out in like Hollywood. That was like the first yep. area. Yeah, that uh, mm-hmm. that one wasn't the most memorable. I, I like the underground. Like the first underground, yeah, the underground could, like, ones are good. You could, you could take your, uh, you can like walk around, like hold your board. I think mm-hmm. underground was the first game you could do that. I was just like blown away by that. It's just weird. Like I think so. this, the, the standard of gaming back then is just like the difference Very between low. something that's amazing and not is literally just like holding your skateboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's just such a simple thing. That's like such like, a quality of life. You guys, is, uh, do you guys ever play the skate games? Nah, I played a little bit of skate one, but I just, I, I couldn't get used to it because like the to do like tricks and stuff you had to use the joystick. It wasn't like yeah. that with Tony Hawk. You just like you press like well, yeah, you just press X. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. it's fucking retarded. I just couldn't brain dead. I, I just couldn't get used to it, and I was just like, yeah. But I'd like sit there and watch my cousin play it. The funnest. I played, I played so a little bit three. of skate three. I played so much of it. Like back in high school, me and all my buddies would get on, and we would just fucking. I just remember playing for like fucking six hours every night and just laughing the whole time and like yeah well the funnest part about high skate school, is just, and i used to play it the funnest part about skate is breaking your bones and like hurting yourself like oh the yeah best part the about fucking skate. uh the hall of meat shit yeah yeah that, that was a good time yeah uh, no smitty loves those like, games oh yeah he fuck whenever we used to get hammered at his house we would just play skate like that'd be the rest of the night mm-hmm. get hammered and he would like try to do one trick for two hours straight is it the one where he tried to do like a hard flip under a rail God, please no! <laughs> I watched him do that on please stream for no. like an hour, and then he finally did it. And I was like, oh, thank God. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he he really fucking loves skate. But uh, what's the most like hyped you guys have ever been for a game that was like coming out? Hmm. That's a good question. Because I know mine. I know it's probably I mean, some Call of Duty. Yeah. Probably a Call of Duty game. I'm pretty hyped for Breath of the Wild too. I know they're still working on that. Yeah, that's coming in. I think it isn't it getting DLC. I hope. Well, I probably is, but I hope they do the DLC better than they did Breath of the Wild's DLC. Did you look <clears> at that <throat> DLC that they put out for Breath of the Wild? Oh, wait, no, I, that's what I was talking about. No, oh. I didn't. I, did, I didn't know there was already a uh, DLC out for Breath of the Wild. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, yeah it came out like shortly after the game came out, and it was really kind of shitty. They're oh, putting out like a right. whole Breath of the Wild two out, like a whole new game. Is what I was talking oh. about. I didn't even I didn't really even know that. Yeah. Mine would probably have to be Modern Warfare 3. I was, that game like really? I went, Yeah, dude. I, I, was I went to Modern GameStop. Warfare 3. I went to GameStop with my friends at like, you know, 11 o'clock at night. And mm-hmm. this was like on a school night or whatever and we were like Hell bad, yeah. we were bad kids, bad boys. <laughs> at GameStop. <laughs> we were underage too. I don't even know how we were allowed to get the game cuz I dude the, the rules for getting video games has changed so much, but I'll talk about that in a second. Like, we were underage, probably in, like, I don't even know what grade I was in, but it was a school night, and we're there at GameStop at 11 o'clock at night, and, like, we skipped school for, like, <laughs> two days and just played Modern Warfare 3, like, for the longest time, like, me and all my friends. That was my Black Ops experience. That's the game I was most hyped for out of all them, Black Ops, the first one. I was so fucking stoked. Every day I'd get home from school, I'd just watch, like, sh- really shitty, like, Black Ops leaked video, and it would just be, like, yep. <laughs> it'd just be complete dog shit of, like, uh-huh. fake stuff, or, like, new cover found in fucking whatever the last game was, where it just, like, show really bad Black Ops, like, fucking photoshopped cover. Just dumb shit like that. I watched so much of it. And, like, the day the game came out, my dad's like, all right, you can't skip school. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> so as I woke up, I looked out the window and it was foggy as shit. And then I checked the school website and the buses weren't running because oh, yeah. it was too foggy, which means that I got to stay home. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, dad, before you go to work, fucking drive me, go pick up this goddamn game. And he did. And like me and three of my other friends got it. But our other two friends that stayed home, their parents wouldn't drive them. So they were just sitting there in their own call playing fucking whatever, Modern Warfare 2 or whatever, being sad as shit. We're all like <laughs> screaming about the exciting stuff in Black Ops. That's hilarious. But I, I just remember being so stoked for that fucking game. I loved it. 
I was pretty stoked for GTA Five. Really? Yeah, because I've I've always played the GTA games. Like I I think I started Vice City, and then I remember beating San Andreas probably like fifteen times. Just because I had nothing else to do, and I had no friends in middle school. I guess so. I I was excited for it, but I didn't like lose my. I just kind of played GTA games. I was that kid that used to just like drive around properly. <laughs> GTA. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even did that in Simpsons Hit and Run. And then like, you'd like, I would just you, you like oh, barely God. run into a cop, and then he'd get out and shoot you in the head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like, or you just stop at a red light. Like and everyone else would be honking at you. Somebody would drive into you, pull you out of your car, and start beating the fuck out of you because yeah. <laughs> you Just weren't driving at a red light. <laughs> Just New uh, York City. Maybe where you live. <laughs> God, I was well, pretty dude, excited yeah. for uh, Black Ops Two too because I like I, Black Ops One was Two the first too. I played of Treyarch, and I was just super really? into that game. So I was like really looking forward to the War? next one. Nah, I didn't play World of War. Oh, dude, that was like my first real COD. I, was, like, I the loved one, that game. It was the one out of. Ah! What the fuck was that? Wait, just, <laughs> just have a jazz band walk yeah. into your room? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Your dad like, like hired <laughs> Kenny G to come like play for your <laughs> birthday or something. <laughs> My phone fell and it just opened up Spotify. It's like at Coachella you were- when you like is it Coachella where people go to like the porter potties and they'll have that like prank <laughs> set up where a whole marching band will come out when they open the door. <laughs> or is it Lollapalooza or no, one of those? You haven't seen that? Uh, I, I, no, I don't That's know. That's pretty funny. Dude, I had a it's question a, for yeah, you guys. So whenever okay. y'all were growing up going and buying games, like a GameStop or EB mm-hmm. Games, wherever y'all went, when y'all like did they ever like care about y'all's age when you nope. went and got games? <laughs> no, never. Never. Yeah. Dude, all right. So I bought like, a Playboy all- game on my own once. <laughs> that's what I was thinking about like whenever I was like 15 like 14 15 like nobody gave a shit yeah. like, I could go in there and buy like the most gruesome game and like the workers would know me so they'd be like dude you gotta check this game out man <laughs> they're, like, like, promoting it to you yeah they're like you rip this <laughs> chick's yes, head off it. and then skull fucker and like just telling me all this shit like they didn't Jesus. care but but like as I got a little bit older like 16 or so like this one time me and my friend were in the mall and you know how they have those little stations in the mall where they'll have like a yeah, kiosk like a, yeah, they'll have like mm-hmm. a, a like a, a old PlayStation hooked up or something, and they'll mm-hmm. have like a, yeah. a co- like a Call of Duty from like years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, this was when like the first Modern Warfare was already like four or five years old, and me and my friend were in the mall, and like we were bored. I think our parents were like shopping or something, but we were just bored walking around, and we we're like, dude, let's just go play Call of Duty at this like kiosk while we wait because we had nothing else to do. And it was like modern is Modern Warfare One, and the lady was just like, "You guys are too young to play this game." <laughs> well, and my friend, my friend just said, "Well, I beat this game seven times, but okay." <laughs> <laughs> so I walked away. <laughs> you should have just fucking fought her. Yeah, but yeah, but, uh, dude, growing up, GameStop employees did not give a shit. I feel like it's because no, most didn't. people that work at GameStop are probably like nineteen or twenty. And yeah, they and know like, that they it, like as a kid they would want to be able to buy the same shit, so they're just like fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and like who the fuck is really gonna yell at them? Yeah, really. Like it's just I mean, if the kid's gonna get it, they're gonna Karen. get it somehow. Yeah, yeah exactly. Guess, the fucking, Karen's Karen can die in a house fire. But uh so, I re- I remember going to the fucking Battlefield three midnight release. I never played like, Battlefield. I just went Dude, with Battlefield three I, was I, awesome. Uh, yeah, it was, but I didn't even really know what was going on. I didn't really play much Battlefield. Like I played uh, Bad Company too, um, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty fucking good game." So Battlefield Three rolled around, and I was like, "All right, I'll go to the midnight release." So we skipped school and stuff, and like we were not eighteen, and nobody gave a fuck. We like showed up there at like nine thirty. We're just waiting outside with like a bunch of dudes, and they were all like, they were all fucking like role playing too. Like they all came with like Battlefield fucking yeah that's how gear it was on and like God. we're carrying like fake guns and shit yep. I, I do miss mm-hmm. stuff like that about midnight releases though. yeah that, that was yeah. the fun part too they had like little games you could play too where they give away like shirts and stuff yeah or, or like people just set up like beer pong outside like yeah and they did like call like of duty trivia and stuff yeah oh, i man, remember that was all uh, fun. i remember the funniest fucking thing ever um some dude that was at the very very front of the line from modern warfare 2 um, he got the game and he was like, they were only letting like one person in at a time to avoid it being hectic as fuck. Um, so he went in, got Modern Warfare 2, 
and he drove by the line holding it out the window screaming like fuck you guys i got it first some dude <laughs> snatched bag. it out of his hand some dude snatched it out of his hand while he was driving and just fucking sprinted down the street. <laughs> oh my God. So that is hilarious. Funny. He just booked it. Everyone was just like, nah, that guy's a douche. I'll let you run with it. So uh, nobody stopped him. They just let him go because that guy was an asshole for fucking, yeah, fuck you guys. You got it first. Dude, have you ever seen the videos of the people like, where they'll go to the midnight release of like a Harry Potter book or some like big novel? or whatever and it's like a part of a series or whatever and there's like videos of people like fucking speeding by the crowd and they'll be yelling spoilers and shit that happens in the <laughs> realm yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i fucking hate that about like i don't know if you're like a week late to something like i was stoked to watch the new uh star wars movie um a while back this was like when gta 5 was still popping and it was like right when the uh, yachts came out, like when you could buy personal yachts. And I went to go visit this dude's yacht, and on the back it just said "Obi Wan dies." <laughs> I, was so, I, was, I was so mad. Uh, I immediately alt that forward and was just grumpy the rest of the day. It's just like fuck this game, dude. I was so pissed. Wait, uh, he died. What? I I th I'm pretty sure I don't even remember what happens, but yeah, it's just. I've only uh, seen the first new Star Wars movie. You asshole! All right, shut up, cunt. It's been like ten years since that fucking came out. You, you dick. Yeah, Glenn died on The Walking Dead. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not in season. It's like Will John yet, hasn't seen season five yet. <laughs> is it five? I think it's. That was a good I, scene I think though. It's six. That was such a good scene. I've never like felt like. Ugh, seeing oh, something yeah. in the movie. It, it was a so show like, like that. realistic. Like, after the first hit, you could just tell like even if he survives this, he's gonna like drink plain milk after and lick windows. Like yeah. his <laughs> eye was like popping out, and he was just like just sitting there looking like, uh, at yeah, looking at his. I don't know if they were married or girlfriend, whatever. He's just like no, and just fucking. Uh, yeah, he's like trying to talk. Die, he tells his brain is just like fucking fried. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was a. Uh, that was that was a well done scene, but I was like. I remember eating. I was eating chips or something. I just remember just, just being like, no, I'm just done. I don't want to do anything. I can't believe he's still alive in the show. Negan? I don't, I don't know what's going on in that show. Dude, I suck watching. Like a, like, it's, it's weird. That, show, I feel like the, that show's still going like, on? Oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like they should have ended it like there. Holy shit. Well, the There's reason, no like, way that the show is still going on. The reason they do so many on. episodes is, or so many seasons is because they're like, they're following like the comic series. And I think there's like but they're, 12 or 13 To my knowledge, seasons. they're completely off the comic well, book not, at this point. It's not like on point, like exactly, but I think they're just trying to like, do as much. In the in the comic books, isn't Carl like the new main character? Even though I, Carl's I now dead? I have no idea. I'm just saying they're doing it know. like, obviously they want to do it better than the comic series, but I think there's, they're, they probably only have like one more season left because I think they're on like season I don't know. I was, or I was fucking done like after. I honestly think the season where Glenn died should have been the last one because it's so repetitive. That show is just I like. I thought the Negan stuff was good. Like I thought he. Yeah, like, it was. But, stuff but, was good. That was like two seasons but the long. Whole, the whole show is just like, ah, we're safe. Look at this. Everything's great. Oh, no. New guy. Ah, we're all in danger. Oh, we're yeah. safe again. Oh, no. We're in danger. It's just like, oh, my God. The What's greatest show now? ever is Breaking Bad. You I haven't seen one online. episode of that, but I, I watched I've watching watched it. one yeah, episode, I, and I was like, cool. That, that is, is epic. The, dude, that TV show is like, every episode, except for like one really weird episode, where they try and kill a fly for the whole episode, but besides that, every episode, <laughs> yeah. Like there's, this one, episode there, no, there's this one yeah. really <laughs> weird episode in that whole series where you're just like, what the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> like, <laughs> Because I swear to God, there's one episode where they try and kill a fly the whole time. But other than that, <laughs> the whole series, dude, that show is a masterpiece, dude. You will yeah. never know like what's coming next. I mean, it's just it was so good the first time I watched it. I, I feel like what made me not want to watch it is the only episode I saw was the last episode. <laughs> so I was like, well, yeah, that watch. could that could probably do it. <laughs> I was like, well, I know where this is going. <laughs> It's so like picking up a book pointless. and just reading the last page. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> That's what happened. Well, because I just went to my friend's house. I was like, we hanging out. He's like, no, bro, I got to watch this. I was like, oh all right. God. I was just sitting there and I was like, okay. Uh, he's like, he was just like, bro, I can't believe that happened. I was like, I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> but I just watched that guy get fucking murdered. Not going to say who.
even though it's a t- fucking 25 million year old show. Yeah, I haven't but, yet to uh, watch it, but I really want to. I know I'm probably going to yeah, get stuck into it. I'm just it, not like, a huge fan of how, Actually, how do you guys feel about anime? Yuck. Yuck. Uh, there's some good anime. Yeah, I like playing the songs for people online. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I do not think it anime. gets good reactions. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't watch any of the anime. Are like the songs that I've played for people. I just play them because I see people say like, "Ooh, ooh play my play it, Demon Slayer," you know. So I do it. <laughs> I, uh, do they sound like that? <laughs> yes, probably. Do I, hates his fans confirm? I don't. Yep. <laughs> I don't. Keep talking. Talk over I don't. Uh, um, I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't. 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 No. Um, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Good anime. I just Very don't like. Show. I don't like animated like fighting. I don't know. It's just like I used to watch Dragon Ball cringe. when I was a kid. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, and I liked it when I was a kid because you're just like. Uh, oh, that's colors. funny that you say that because so many people will say like. Mm, animated fighting is way more realistic than like embedded. What? Like it, it, they'll say like well not not more realistic but like it's more intense. better than it's better than like actual people fake fighting just, for a movie. It just you makes me I mean? cringe because it's like, oh no, I'm getting my ass kicked, but now I'm gonna do this special move where I yell for twenty seconds and now I'm stronger I'm than you. You are making a lot of people mad right now. You are making I, me mad right now. <laughs> fuck a lot anime. Of it's, <laughs> It's all I, the fucking. Uh, it's I've all tried. This, why are you beating the shit out of this guy who's yelling for twenty seconds? I've tried up? to watch anime and I just I cannot so get into I. it. I've tried to watch so many and then I cringe and then like there are little like cutesy relationships that they try to do make me want to put a fucking gun between my eyes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's just oh, I can't. I can't do God, it. God, the man. anime like, sounds. Of, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 God, it's uh, so bad. It's yeah, I can't I can't watch anime. I mean no, I respect the fuck so much shit in the comments for this. <laughs> right, I respect the Okay, I respect the art style. Like if Oh the artists like, are badass. Yeah, dude. if somebody no, yeah, sends yeah. me a screenshot of like an anime, like just a random screen grab from anywhere in the anime, I'm always like, holy fuck, that's like genuinely impressive. And like the people that do that have so much passion for what they do, and that's you know, I respect that no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Um it's, it's almost like, like McDonald's. Watch it. What? Because you'll see like a picture yeah. of a Big Mac and you're like, wow, that looks like a good hamburger. And then you open the box and it's just like the cheese is like melted to the side of the box. <laughs> it's just this little and the bun is upside down. The lettuce is brown and then there's a bite taken out of it and there's a dead cockroach. <laughs> right, that's uh, okay, <laughs> that's anime. Anime is like McDonald's. I had but... <laughs> a yeah, dead no, cockroach that's, under that's... a Domino's pizza once. Anyway, okay. go on. That's <laughs> before, that's before anybody rips into us in the comments i know that there is anime out there that's not that has nothing to do with fighting there's like slice of life oh, yeah, i watched the stuff volleyball out one yeah, there, yeah i, I mean, watched the volleyball one once it was really bad there's just well i don't like i know a lot of people are in the comments are gonna be like you know there's enemies that there's not it's not just all fighting and you're big deku big. deku persona 5 sorry I, anyways, uh, yeah, but there's I like, don't know what he just did. Yeah, I don't know what he's. Are you speaking Japanese or something? Yeah, <laughs> I think your inner weeb just came out. We just uh, experienced it for the first time. I, I, I think Grizzy's back on the podcast, boys. <laughs> Actually, Grizzy would know. Grizzy would have known exactly what I was talking about. I guarantee. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he has some off. words to say for sure. Grizzy, Grizzy, his his name is Weeb. Yeah, he's a Weeb guy. It's actually Nelson. Yeah, it's. But yeah, anyways. Right. Um, <laughs> <Could it put? laughs> yeah. The only animated shit that I know of is from hearing other people talk about it. Honestly, yeah. no yeah. hentai. Yeah. Anyway, like, um, dude, One Punch Man is so cool. Anyway, no more. Anime. Yeah, I remember seeing a GIF <laughs> image of uh, Ash fucking Misty that I thought was pretty cool when I was young from Pokemon. Okay, is that an anime? Because Pokemon was pretty cool as a kid. Pokemon, yeah, it's an, an anime, anime. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, isn't there like an only, original? That's the only anime I like. Then there's like an original, uh, like non um, American voice acted version. There's like, a, there's like a yeah. Japanese version. Yep. You mean the der- version? Or like the version? <laughs> and then yeah. it's converted. Yeah. Well, that's how it is. Dragon Ball to... Z too. I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball Z was originally like. Yep. Uh, Japanese. Yep. Voiced. Exactly. You yes, sir, they all are. And uh, if it wasn't for World War II and we didn't drop a nuke on them, there would be no uh, anime. Fun fact. 
That's where anime came from. We nuked them, and they were all really sad, so they started making their <laughs> little comic books. The little mango, manga, whatever the fuck they're called. That no, is that, not that is, the backstory no, of anime. No, th that literally is. Anime is a thing because we nuked them. I'm not that is joking. Rad. You can literally look back into the history of it because Jap like because Japan went into like a Great Depression afterwards because you know they got fucking nuked. Um, they tried to like find things that didn't cost a lot of money that they could do that they enjoyed, and like writing manga or whatever, however it's pronounced, um, was manga. what they ended up doing, and it became super popular. And then that then turned into anime. So, so let me get this straight. We so if we didn't nuke them. Well, hold we wouldn't on. have to we wouldn't have to see anime so we nuke them yeah and to get back at us they turn anime. us into <laughs> femboy furry lovers <laughs> yep, <that's> <laughs> who really won that war you tell me who really <laughs> won world war ii wasn't <laughs> over that year it was still going on it's still going on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, with each new naruto episode they win another battle <laughs> They really got Grizzy, man. They really got him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Next topic. We should move off anime before some kid with a samurai sword shows up. <laughs> <laughs> it was Nuka. If he tries to kill us. Okay. But then he'll come back stronger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, I think um, we got time for one more. Time right, for uh, Uno Mas. Uh, we'll have well, to get on horseback. You yeah, yeah, you want to you want to pick it then? Uh, I'm picking my nose right now. Put that one, boogers, boogers Honestly, on what you said, if you could compare yourself with any animal, which would it be and why? Would be perfect to follow up after. What's your what's your first Sona voice? <laughs> oh man, a goose. <laughs> why? You don't remind me of a I goose. In I any make noises. I way. honk. Goose. And I like the name Goose. This is I honk. When do I you honk? honk? <laughs> he just drives and lays on the horn the entire time. <laughs> um, McNasty's characteristic honking. If I was an animal, okay, I'd probably just be like a walrus because I just lay on my back and just <laughs> yeah, don't move. That's perfect. You 100 would be a walrus, but like not even a cool walrus. You're like missing your tusks, so you just have like this weird <laughs> over. Just a useless walrus. <laughs> I'd probably be monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd definitely be, be a silver gorilla. Bag. Yeah, monkey. Yeah, soup would be a big Me silverback man. gorilla. Monkey meal. Do you uh? Did you see that video of like this big silverback gorilla and his son just looking at a caterpillar as it crawled on the ground and it got close to him and he just fucking flicked it. They were just like no. peacefully watching it for like twenty seconds and then it got too close to him and he just like made a silverback gorilla sound and fucking flicked it into. I love like that. the stratosphere. <laughs> <laughs> it really is you, Soup. You really are just a gorilla. What about you, dude? I, don't, I feel like you'd have something. You'd be like a flamingo. You'd be like one of those hairless what? cats. <laughs> 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 All right. Why would I be a hairless cat, man? Nasty. Because you're small and pink. <laughs> <laughs> What up, what is, is, is he Kirby? <laughs> Hi! Yeah, definitely a, definitely a hairless cat. No <laughs> All right. Go All right, I frog. guess we'll go with that. No, what would a you frog? choose? Seriously, if you could choose. Um, I thought squirrels were pretty cool. They fast and climb trees. <laughs> you so yeah, because you like you nuts. Could be, <laughs> you, could be like, you could be like a, a fucking jaguar, <laughs> but you chose a squirrel. <laughs> 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 <I don't like laughs> <nuts>. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. I'm too tired. Well, you really, this. you really set the bar low for yourself. Could be yeah, any animal. Did. Picks a picks a common squirrel. Usually they're found <laughs> dead on the side of the road. Got to buy a car. Picks the animal that gets fucking road killed every day, like twenty million times. Uh, all right, splattered. I want to be a sab saber tooth tiger. Those are extinct. Exactly. God, you were just not setting the bar high for yourself. Do -do bird. <laughs> you should be a doo doo bird. Get it? That was, that was my rim shot. Now give me a rim job. Rather see your cum shot. Yeah, anyway. we can make that happen. Omegle right now. Omegle right now. Omegle. All right, getting on. Get on. Can we? Getting on. And then get off. We? I think we should end the podcast before you guys jerk off to each other. I think we should do that as well. well I, the fans don't want that. 
Mm-hmm. You guys should jerk each other mm-hmm. off for the Okay, the people watching and listening and watching and listening and watching and listening, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Goons only fans after this podcast. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a leave us some questions. Give us some leave ideas. Leave us a hate comment about anime. Give us some ideas uh, of stuff to talk about. And yeah, anybody else want to say anything? I don't know what to say anymore. I'm going to pick up dude and suck his cock above my head. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> See you next week. Oh, <laughs> mama.